I didn't know what was happening to me. It was a very horrible time in my life. It started with going out to eat. I'm sitting on the table trying to work with my fork and knife. All of a sudden, my fork is falling over. Mrs. Offenbacher was involved in a pretty bad car accident and had subsequent issues from that. She's compensated very well for it over the last many decades. Uh, unfortunately, over time, her hands have become weak and her legs have become painful. To watch somebody deal with pain every day to the point where she didn't want to draw or paint, I knew the pain was bad. I thought, you know, I have to really see somebody who's going to help me. Stanford have such a great facility. There was no question I'm going there. She came to me with low back issues, but what we figured out was that there was some component of issues with her cervical spine, and that was likely responsible for her hands. So that was the first thing that we decided needed to be fixed. She said, I'm going to fix this. So I said, all right, if you really think you fix my hands, I'm getting you my painting. He said, we have a deal here. When patients come to see us, our goal is to figure out what keeps them from doing the things they want to do and making sure that we identify a plan that allows them to get back to those things. So understanding what their goals are is as important as understanding what their MRI scan looks like. After he looked over this whole information, he said he has to do surgery. What robotic and computer-assisted surgery allows us to do is generate the plan ahead of time and then execute that plan with a high degree of accuracy. We can actually take her CT scan, which is a image of her spine in 3D, and we can reconstruct it to what we want it to be. And it tells us what we need to do in the operating room. These systems help us reduce the amount of time we spend in the operating room, reduce the amount of anesthesia, and the amount of time Mrs. Offenbacher spent in the hospital. We're the first to have the robot in this area and utilize it for complex spine surgery. I'm really fascinated with this whole process. I love all these tools. It's very precise because it's all programmed. You was actually telling me you're not going to have any scar because it's very little incision. The first surgery that Mrs. Offenbacher underwent was to make sure that we decompressed the spinal cord in the neck. Once she had a chance to recover from that and her balance improved and her hands were better, we focused on her low back to alleviate her back pain and her leg pain. We're even innovating beyond what Miss Offenbacher had because now we're doing all of these surgeries in one day in a single position. When we parted, he said, you know, let's not rush to anything. You have to give yourself a year. But honestly, right now it's six months, and I, I can see the humongous difference. I would say I back to pre-normal, like, everyday life. To watch somebody in pain and then see the absence, it's like taking away your passion and getting them back. So, there, yeah, it was a big change. When he got the painting, he sent me the letter. He really, truly appreciated the painting. The fact is that he put as much thought to his work as much I put to my work. It was very touchy. This is my meditation. This is as close as I can get feeling special. I don't have words for, really. It's amazing. <laughs>